Hello friends, during this session we will learn how we can create a sign up form, sign in form using ASP.NET 3 tire architecture. Before I starting this tutorial, you have to take a paper or pen in your hand and note all the things what you have to do. First, you have to create design three pages. First is login pages. To de design a login page, I have created this type of designing page for login. You can create your own design page. If you need its designing code, you can contact me at the last. Then, second number, you have to create one sign up form. I have created this type of simple sign up form as per my requirement. According to your requirement, you can design your own sign up form and one default page. Uh, after clicking on a uh, login button, I want to redirect my page on this default page. And on this default page, I have created one logout button that is one type of link button. Clear? So, first you have to create this three designing page. Then what you have to do next step. In the next step you have to create your database. To create a database first right click here add new item then SQL server compact database. Create on add button. I have already created a database named login app. In that I have created one table named user detail. You have to create a table as per your sign up forms requirement for that for here i have created this this five fields and its data type and its source code like this clear now in the next step what you have to do you have to add two class files now two class files for which purpose i have to do i am creating this login application in three tier architecture so i have to create two classes named property service and data service to add a class just click here add new item then from here select a class file then name here property service and data service i have created already two classes remember one thing when you are adding a class file in your application it will ask you you want to add it in app data folder or not app code folder or not click ok button when it asks this type of pop up clear in app code i have created two class named data service and property service uh, i have explained the use of these two files in my previous videos uh, for example you can visit a uh, three tire architectures video clear in property service i have taken all the variables which I need to insert in my database. For example, in my database I need these four fields name, email, form and pass. For that I have used create this type of property. Get and set our property parameter. Clear? In Now in data service. In data service for which purpose data service is used in data service i will create all the methods which is used for a database connectivity first this uh, four line of code is common in any connectivity and remember one thing before using this code you have to import these two namespace named using system.data and using system.data.sql client clear uh, and here you have to write your connection string in control, uh, from where do you find your connection string? Click on the database. Then, at this type connection, you will find connection string. Just copy it from here and just paste it here. Clear? Okay. Now, this pre-planned things which you have to create. Now, I will explain how to create login application. First. To create a login application, first I will create a sign up form. To create a login, first user have to register themselves. For that, I will use a sign up form. In sign up form, I have taken these four fields. When I click on the submit button, 
all the data should be inserted into a database. For that, what I have to do? I just have to double click on submit button. For by using submit button click button, I will this type of code. Clear? Now I will use this code. First, we will do we will call property service class here property service ps is equal to new property service clear and remember one thing in property service we will inherit a data service class data service is our uh, class which you have already created and in property service we will inherit data service so that by using property service we can also call the method of data service this is a concept of inheritance and this concept is a very important in any three tier architecture remember that thing clear so that first we will call property service math class here so that we can access all the methods of data service and property service in property service we have used now i will just write down few of code for example you will write ps dot name for example name property you have created in your property service class is equal to from where do you get the value of property service name in user sign up form there is a text box name text box one from this text box you will get the value of name so you have to write here text box one dot text Similarly, by this way, you have to write all the values of property from where do you get it. For example, email's value I will get from the text box 3. So that I will write ps.email is equal to textbox.text. Clear? Now, what we will do? After using this all the properties, we will create a method named insert data. We want to insert a data in our database. For that, we will create a method in a data service class. In data service, first we will create a method. This is a method public void insert user data. This method I have created for a CMD is equal to new SQL command insert user data. Now what is this? This is a store procedure which I created in to insert a data in a database. To create a stored procedure, just click add new stored procedure you will get this type of prompt now you can write your stored procedure suppose i want to create a stored procedure insert user data so you can write stored procedure like this i have already created a stored procedure insert user data in stored procedure we want to create a parameters for example in user data i want to add these four properties id is an auto incremental field so i did not need to add a parameter of id so that i will create all the parameters of user data name email phone and password and its data type remember one thing here the data type is exactly match with the tables data type otherwise you will get an error clear First, we will declare all the parameters. Then we will write a query insert into table name. Table name is user table values. Its parameter name, email, phone, and pass. The all the parameters are same like this. Clear? Okay. Now back towards the data service. Data service at the rate name. Now we will write cmd dot command type is equal to command type dot store procedure. Why we will use this uh, this line? Because we have used the stored procedure to insert our data, so that SQL client will know this uh, this uh, SQL commands command type is stored procedure. So now we will add all the parameters cmd dot parameters dot add with value. Now which are these parameters? These these parameters are same as the stored procedures parameter. If you um, if you were mistake in spelling it will also you will you get also error so be careful before you writing its parameter name don't mistake in spelling clear and these are the parameters p dot name these are the uh, property service class okay 
connection dot open, connection dot cmd dot execute none query and connection dot close. Clear? Get it? Now we will execute a sign up form. Clear? Then uh, now back toward the sign up form. We have already called this method here by button clicking event ps dot insert user data. Clear? Then I want to redirect my page directly to the login page so that login page dot admin uh, login dot ASPX. Clear? Now let's execute the port view in the browser. Now add this throw in phone number zero 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 email sixteen at the rate gmail dot com password I will add password one two three four five six now by using submit button now by clicking on this button which code is executed on buttons click event code is executed on that side the method which have which we have created uh, insert user data which will also execute it and store procedure will also execute clicking on submit button data is inserted and we have redirect to admin login page main login page clear okay now we will check whether our data is inserted or not to check show Table data. We have seen here through in ravinsha16 at gmail.com and password 123456. Clear. So our data is successfully inserted. Clear. Now we have done a code of a sign up. Now what about sign in? To sign in code. First, we have designed already a sign in form here. In that here user will insert its email id and its password by clicking button we have to check from database that whether the user is available or not if user will available then they will redirect to the default page for that what we have to do we have to do a code on buttons click event just double click on buttons click event then as usual we will get email address and password from textbox1 and textbox2. Now, here we will check if user is available or not. For that, I have created a method ps.check user login. Now, I want to show you key in check user login what I have done. In for that, check user login. First of all, this method is boolean type. It will return either a false or true. If it will return a true, then user will can log in successfully. Otherwise, user cannot log in successfully. For that, I have created a stored procedure named check user data. It will check check user data. It will check select star from user ID where email is equal to at the rate email and pass is equal to at the rate pass. Whether the email and password are same or not clear for that we have added this type of parameter then boolean status is equal to false by default we have taken a status that is equal to false if status now status is equal to convert dot to boolean cmd dot execute scalar if um you uh, if uh, th this method this stored procedure can get a record from a database and it will return a true value it will convert it into a true so that from here it will return its status either a true or false now back to the login page if we have seen what is in the method what is mentioned in the, this method by then we will create a session because uh, whatever we are performing in our web application it's all the things are performed in the session clear session we have created a name session unit is equal to textbox one dot text that means a session's value is its email address response dot write successful and we will redirect it to default dot aspx that is the welcome to the uh, welcome to the web application otherwise it will show alert 
incorrect username or password clear now we will execute a login page we have uh, done we have uh, inserted dhruvinsha16 at the rate gmail.com and, and enter password 123456 then click on the login button clear this is a default .aspx page we will we have redirected to this page now login is successful means here our session is already started now whenever user will click on logout button we will we should redirect on the login page back now i will click on the logout page then we are redirected to the uh, login page for that what you have to do for that in default page open link buttons click event link buttons click event then session dot abandon it is a method which will remove a session and by using if you are using a session dot abandon method you must have to write response dot redirect that means on which page you want to redirect your page i will redirect my page login page slash admin dot aspx this is the path in login page there is a uh, folder name log admin login dot aspx clear now remember one thing whenever you are creating many pages in your website don't forget to write this code if session uname is not equal to null then else response dot redirect this now i will explain what is the importance of these two lines code suppose you will execute this page directly default page if you had already written this code it will automatically redirect you to the login page slash admin login dot aspx that means your home page otherwise what will happen otherwise hacker will all, uh, already access to this page whenever you are creating a large application this concept is very useful so on page load event every time you have to check if session unit is not equal to none or whatever session name you have created in your application remember that thing. if you have already created a master page then on master page page load event you can also write this code clear now let's look the whole application in brief now so this is the application you have created first this of your home page whenever you click on the register here you will get this type of form whenever you submit your data your data is submitted into a database whenever you uh, sign in this page you will redirect to this page default.asps whenever you create, uh, click on the logout button you will be redirected to your home page clear uh, friends if you have any doubt about it uh, then you can mail me at rohinsha16 at gmail.com or if you need its source code you can also mail me i will mail you a source code if you really like it with this video please subscribe my channel thank you